That is our prayer that he will arise. He is in our midst. No doubt about that. But our prayer is that he will arise. What do we mean by that? <laughs> that he will manifest his glory. He is a glorious God. Trouble is sometimes we can't see the glory. <laughs> All we see is problem. But if he arises, if he manifests his greatness, his power, his goodness, you see, that manifestation, that will take you to, you know, another level. And you can see his greatness, his glory, his beauty, his majesty. You experience it. Oh, that's something else, my friend. And uh, one day we will experience it in its fullness. <laughs> we are living in a wonderful time. How many of you believe that? We are living in a wonderful time, my friend. We are living in between Jesus' first coming and his second coming, right? That's the best time to be living in. <laughs> well, the only thing that's better will be actually after Jesus' second coming, when we will live with him forever and ever. But up to now, this is the best time and you're living in the best time. <laughs> that's right. Don't believe what they tell you in the news. They say this is the worst times. No, no, no. We are having the best time. Look at it from a redemptive historical perspective. Look at it from the salvation history. Salvation has come in and through the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus has come and he has finished the work of redemption. And he has gone back and he will return one day. <clears throat> and when he returns, we will see him in, his, in all his glory and his majesty. Well, this song talks about the time that we are living in. And the time that we look forward to. The day of his coming. Let's sing it.
Amen. Our God is an amazing God and he has set forth an amazing plan. Plan of redemption. But it all began of course with creation. This next song talks about his glory in creation. Each one of those things are enough to amaze us. But today we just try to give you a sweep. Let's go back and sing about the Lord of creation. His glory, his beauty.
covered by your grace so free here I am knowing I am prone to sin covered by the blood of the Lamb Greatest love of all is mine since you laid down your life. The greatest sacrifice. majesty let's praise him for who he is for what he has done we praise you Lord we worship you we worship you we honor you we thank you Lord for your grace so full so free so amazing for you are not only the Lord of creation 
and you are not only the lord of judgment you will judge the world one day but you are also the lord of salvation and you have manifested your salvation to us oh god you have already saved us oh we thank you lord for you are savior jesus the one who shall save his people from their sins we thank you for your greatest manifestation in and through the lord jesus christ for the finished work on the cross for your shed blood for your death and resurrection has changed our lives help us to realize that because of you because you died and rose again everything is different and everything can be different in our lives today no matter what we're going through you are more than enough for us oh god we thank you and we praise you we trust in you we put our trust in you help us to put all of our trust in you we believe help thou our unbelief help the people who are going through problems lord at this moment to put their trust in you oh god we pray you will speak to each and every person through your word let your word go forth powerfully with anointing let the holy spirit work mightily with your word through your word fulfilling your purpose today we come to rest this time into your mighty hands we pray that you will do great things for your glory we give you all the glory honor and praise in jesus name we pray amen